this is it. This is it in a nutshell. Learn this pattern and repeat it over and over again. But stick around. I'm going to help you with the details starting now. Hey, good morning. This is Dennis. Uh, I had a request from a subscriber, actually he just subscribed, um, Andres V. I'll just give you his initial, not his full name, but he, said, he writes here, I have subscribed to your channel after hearing this, referring to the cover of my song, First Day of My Life by Connor Oberst. Uh, he says here, beautiful voice, beautiful picking. Can you show a video of your right hand? I try to follow it by ear. I get close, but not close enough. So when I reviewed this video, he's absolutely right. I, I don't show my right hand very well at all. So this is in response to Andres uh, to show a close-up look at the right hand picking style that I employed for this song. Yeah, before we get started on the actual tutorial, I want to explain this diagram to you. This is a, a diagram of both hands, the left hand on the left side of the screen indicating the numbers for the fingering of the, those particular chords. <clears throat> and on the right hand side of the screen is a picture of the right hand uh, showing the thumb, index, middle, ring fingers used in the actual Travis picking technique. So this request from Andres uh, has provided the impetus for this little tutorial on Travis Picking, or at least how I do it and how I was taught it. Interestingly enough, Travis Picking, named after Merle Travis, born in 1931, his style utilized only the thumb and the index finger. I'm t going to teach you how to Travis Pick with your thumb, index, and middle finger. But to be sure, one needs to understand, and it will become evident from this diagram, that the thumb is the busiest digit in this Travis Picking style involving these three fingers. Um, but once you learn this, you may never want to strum another song again. And it's easier than you might realize. It just requires a lot of patience, perseverance, and practice, which eventually develops the muscle memory that will enable you to execute this Travis picking style unconsciously. So with every chord, you pluck the bass note of that chord and the top E string, the high E string, at the same time. And then you work the inner strings of the four bottom strings. So you pluck, then you work the inner strings with the thumb and the index finger, and then the outer strings with the thumb and the middle finger, ending with the thumb again. So it's pinch, inner strings, outer strings, pinch, inner strings, outer strings, pinch, inner strings, outer strings. Just repeat this over and over again. You'll be able to increase your speed over time. There's a part of the, the song uh, where you make the transition from the C to the E to the A minor uh, where it's a little sped up and you wind up, a lot of people result to doing it this way with the C to the C with the B bass to the A minor. So, but these things take forever, I especially am slow. 
eventually, though, you're going to want to make that transition there with full chord formations. But these things take forever. I especially am slow. I just think that sounds better than when you make the full chord formations. So you decide this. The only other monkey wrench into the song is are these this D minor suspended two sliding up to the F minor suspended two. These chords. And what's fortunate about Travis picking these this slide and this uh, these two odd chords is that you're only working with the top four strings again. So it's real easy. You pinch the outers, thumb index for inner, thumb middle for outer, and then end it with this. So Eventually, after you get um, to be able to do this unconsciously, you'll, you'll find that you'll be able to do your hammer-ons and pull-offs and not miss a beat. So I'm holding a C chord on a standard tuned guitar, capo to two, and we're going to work on this, the crux the nuts of this with your C chord diagram up there. And with any chord, all you do is hit the bass note string and the top E string at the same time. I call it a pinch. The focus of the Travis picking style is mostly around these four strings. So pinch, inner string with the thumb and index finger, outers with the thumb and the middle finger, and then end with another thumb on the G string. So inner, outer, pinch, inner, outer, pinch, inner, outer, pinch, thumb index, thumb middle, it's the alternating bass of the Travis picking that just drives the song. to another chord, you've got your new bass notes, automatically. So. You, you have to learn this for every chord, just do that. Just learn this pattern, and then we we'll change chords, repeating it. But you'll eventually learn how to just run them together. So to review real quickly, I think we've you know discovered what Travis picking is all about. I mean, I like to define Travis picking as just a nifty way to, instead of strumming all the strings of that chord at the same time, and therefore sounding every note of that chord at the same time, uh, with Travis picking, the notes of the chord are played individually and separately across time. And um, what this provides you uh, with is the ability to maintain the rhythm. Uh, with that constant thumb alternating bass note, you're maintaining the rhythm of the song in 4-4 time. And since the notes, uh, um, when you change chords, the bass notes are automatically included in those chord changes. And the other thing I, I, I think we've kind of discovered is that the melody of the song is incorporated in those chord formations. And because those notes are played individually across time, you're incorporating the melody while you play. 
So I hope this helps you get over your hump with this uh, Travis picking alternating bass finger style technique. Uh, I swear, if you do this for a day, work on this for about a day, you'll be well on your way. And within a week, you'll be playing your songs and changing chords with this finger style technique, which is, I feel, just a beautiful technique. Um, so good luck with this. Uh, feel free to comment, like, or share, particularly share this video with friends of yours that might be wanting to learn how to Travis pick. Um, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.